Hello everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked quite often which is how do I deal with houseplant pests in my home? Or more often is do I have houseplant pests in my home? And the answer is 100% yes. I have been dealing with houseplant pests since the first year that I have had houseplants which was very disheartening for a beginner gardener and it was quite literally a nightmare. One of the first plants I brought home was a palm and it was covered in thrips or they came in through the window and they just spread all over my other plants. And all of those plants are no longer with us to this day. So they, they did a number on my home and it was just, as I said, very disheartening as a beginner gardener. So I wanted to share with you guys the tips that I've accumulated over the last few years on how I deal with houseplant pests. And I have been able to control the pests really well or keep them at bay is a good way to put it because we're not necessarily able to eradicate the pests from our home at least when we are in a situation like I am when I have a bunch of plants all throughout my home. I have over 400 plants, so you can imagine there's always a pest somewhere in some case. So the pests that I deal with in my home are mainly spider mites, thrips, and mealybugs. So I've been dealing with spider mites and thrips for a number of years, but the mealybugs are actually quite new to me. So I think my past methods are working quite well with them, but it's just something I have to be more diligent about because it's something I'm not as used to compared to the other ones. So there are a few products I use and I quite literally swear by. So kind of speaking back a little bit on some products that I don't really care for. So there is one product in particular that I see very common sold and I see it recommended a lot and I'm sure it works for many people but it just does never work for me and I've used it for a number of years and it's just never been my cup of tea and it's neem oil. So you're gonna see a lot of neem oil sprays and a lot of information about neem oil if you're looking into how to deal with houseplant pests. So I was using the neem oil to attempt to get rid of the thrips when I first started and not only did it not really work for me whatsoever, but it just smells horrible. Like it smells like oranges are rotting. It's just such a horrible smell. So I ended up stop using it and I actually turned to Instagram if I'm not mistaken and I asked I was like, what are you guys using to care for your houseplant pests? Because neem oil is not working for me. And I've tried a few other alternatives and they're just not exactly doing the trick. And many of you actually recommended the product called Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, which is what I'm holding right here. So this is by a brand called Bonide. And this is a product that you can find quite readily in any garden center or plant shop or even on Amazon or probably even a big box store. So this is something I highly recommend using. So this is an organic spray and what it is is spinacid spray. So spinacid is what's actually in a lice shampoo, which is quite interesting. But it says right here on the front that it even works on spider mites, which is something we'll touch on a little bit later. Um, but it kills thrips, spider mites, larva of many other things that are for outdoor pests that we're not going to be touching on today. This is a product I love. Anytime I see that I have spider mites on a plant or thrips on a plant, I just take it into the shower or if you have the means of taking it outside, I would definitely recommend it taking your plant outside to spray it with any spray, that, especially one that contains some sort of chemical by any means. Um, and I just spray the plant down and I let it chill in there for a little while while it drips dry and that's how I deal with a plant pest if I find it right then and there. It's something that I always have around and it's something I definitely recommend you guys keep around if you are dealing with house plant pests. There is another product that I do recommend by the same brand, Bonide, that is a little bit of a different product. So this is Houseplant Systemics. So this is a granule or a powder that you go ahead and mix into the soil. So while the Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew was a spray that you spray directly onto the plant, this Houseplant Systemics Insect Control, as it says on the label, is a powder that you're gonna mix into the soil and you're going to water it in when it is the appropriate time. Basically, if your plants are still wet, you're not gonna wanna water this in because you're probably gonna overwater your plant and that's an issue of its own. It's more of a pesticide. So this is definitely something that you would not wanna keep around if you have pets that are really nippy on your plants or young children that might be dealing with your plants in a gnawing type of fashion. I have really no issue with any of the plants that I am treating with this with my cats getting in contact with them, so that is not something of my concern. But this is a pesticide that's going to be coursing through the plant's veins. So that's what I love about it, that the plant is going to be just like having this going throughout its veins and the bugs try to eat the plant and they die, which is incredible because it just keeps them at bay, which is what I am looking to do. Now this is not an organic product. As I mentioned, it's definitely something I wouldn't recommend using around pets um, if you have pets that eat your plants more so. It's not gonna 
do anything to them by just being in the room. But this is something I really love, but as I mentioned, it's a pesticide or an insecticide. So it's insect control. So one of the issues with that is mites. Mites are not insects. So this product is not going to work on spider mites. So I find this works incredibly well on things like thrips and uh, mealybugs. And I'm sure it would do really well if you have an issue with like aphids. Actually, I think it even, yeah, it says aphids and white flies and other insects listed. Um, so what I also love about this is it's just very, very easy to use. I always just pull back the label and I'm always showing people this in the shop. This just says like a four inch plant, you use 2.5 teaspoons or a 10 inch plant, you use a quarter of a cup, which is incredibly easy. I just measure it out and throw it on top of the soil. I mix it in with whatever tool I'm using to measure this out. And I make sure I mix it into like the top inch of the soil so that it's going to be, you know, really getting down there. And I'm not just going to be watering it in from the top. It's just going to like float up to the top. It's definitely, you want to treat it like some kind of like granule fertilizer that you really want to like mix into the top inch of the soil. That's definitely something you want to make sure you do. In a sense, I'm using the Captain Jacks as an attack and I'm using this as a preventative, but I also do use this as an attack method as well. So I kind of use these two products in tandem. And there's another product that I use for a completely different plant pest that you guys I'm sure have dealt with before or most of you have dealt with before which is fungus stats so they're just not exactly a plant pest they're more of a nuisance they're not going to affect the health of your plant in most cases um, typically fungus gnats are around if you're overwatering your plants so if your plants are staying too moist or if your soil medium is a soil medium that's keeping holding on to moisture too long that's likely to invite gnats so one way I actually uh, fight off gnats in my home is using a very well draining mix. I actually do not have a fungus gnat issue in my home because I'm quite often using a mix that's very heavy in perlite and orchid bark so my mixes are not staying wet long enough to harbor fungus gnats so they're really just not an issue for me. But when I did have an issue with them in the past years I've used mosquito bits. Now this is a biological mosquito control. So these are just little pellets, and I think some, uh, sometimes they sell them as dunks, which look kind of just like a like round donut, and people throw them like bird baths outside if they're like harboring mosquitoes. This is called mosquito bits, but it also works for fungus gnats. And while how this works is you're gonna kind of like sprinkle it on top of the plants in the pot, you know, just on top of the soil. You can also use it in a way where I will kind of just dump a few pellets into the watering can, fill it up like an inch or so with hot water, let that kind of just like steep, if you will, and then I fill it up more with cool water so it kind of just like evens out the temperature so I'm not pouring hot water on my plants. Um, and I find this works very well. So how this works is, oh, and one thing I do want to say beforehand is you do want to only water this in similar to the systemics when your plants are dry or when it's time to water. You do not want to water in this into your plants if they're already wet, which is probably something that might be going on if you're having a problem with fungus gnats. This is going to go into the soil and it's going to affect all the eggs and the larvae that are in the soil. So it's not just going to magically zap away all the adults that are alive. You can use yellow sticky traps, I'm pretty sure it's the color that they are attracted to, to get rid of fungus gnats, kind of just they'll fly into it naturally. But this is a way to get rid of them at the source. So this kills the larva and the eggs and then by the time the adults are dead, which won't only take a week or two, you typically or you should not have an issue with fungus gnats after that point and that has been the case for me. So that is something that I really love to use in my home. Now there is one more way of attacking pests that I really enjoy and I cannot take credit for this method. If you watch Summer Rain Oaks of Homestead Brooklyn, she talks about this method a lot and that's how I learned about it last year when I was looking for a new method to deal with the pests in my home because it is just such a nightmare sometimes when you have this many plants and having pests in your home. You don't want to just lug 50 plants into the shower and spray them all down and use like three bottles of Captain Jacks if you're having an outbreak. So what she recommends is integrated pest management, which is using beneficial insects in your home. And I watched a video on it last year and I reached out to her. I had a few questions just because I was kind of like wary about it, but I have to say it is really an incredible way to deal with plant pests in your home. When I order the green lace wings, which is the type of plant uh, 
beneficial insect that I use in my home, I just feel totally at ease. If I see that there are too many plant pests for my liking in my home, I just place an order of these lace wings and suddenly I just feel relaxed. I feel like I just don't have to like lug everything into the bathroom. Now, I should mention before I get too into this that I do wanna be careful not to use some of these other products when I'm using the lace wings in my home. So I'm not gonna be going willy-nilly spraying the Captain Jacks if I have the lace wings because I pay good money for the lace wings and I don't wanna kill them with products that are used to kill the pests. And I also wanna make sure I don't use the products too soon before I order the lace wings because then I've had the issue where I bring the lace wings in and I put them on a plant that I recently treated and the lace wings just die because the plant is covered in chemicals. So that is something I have to keep an eye out for. When I order the lace wings, they come either as eggs or they come as larvae. And if you order the eggs, it's gonna cost a little bit or probably quite more than half the price if you're ordering the larva, but you order a thousand eggs and they come in a little like pill bottle it almost looks like and they're in like rice holes or just like rice grains and you get a thousand eggs but you don't get a thousand larvae so it might seem like a better deal to get a thousand eggs but I find when I get a thousand eggs I'm getting like maybe a hundred larvae out of it when I order the larva live I am ordering them as like the amount and they come live so I'll order 400 typically and they come in exactly this so this is a cardboard little screen that they come in and they have like sheets blocking it so that they're inside their little compartments when I get them in the mail and I have to get this shipped to me overnight which is why it costs a little bit more than the eggs so I think it, the eggs would cost me typically around 20 to 25 dollars where I think when I order this overnight to my area it cost me total I think around 55 dollars but I think that is a fair price to pay for these to just quite literally take care of my problems for me. So how exactly do I use this? So I have this cardboard right here that's filled with my lace wings and it has a screen covering each side and I'll usually just peel it back a little bit and I'll start to just tap it out over some of the plants. So I actually had an issue with, I don't think you can see it on camera here, but there was a philodendron burl marks right next to me and it just started recently putting off some nice big leaves for me. and. I noticed that those new leaves had thrips on them, which is something I don't like to deal with, and I knew I had the lace wings coming, so that was one of the plants I immediately treated, so I just went over to it, I peeled this back a little bit, and I just kind of tapped it on top. The lace wings went flying, and they went to work on those thrips, and I actually, to this day, because I just got this in recently, and I don't see any thrips on the plant, at least these few new leaves that are right within my reach here. So this is something I really, really enjoy. I didn't even have to do anything. These just went right to work. One thing about this too is I understand this is an insect and I'm or insects and I'm bringing this into my home. And if you are not into insects, this might not necessarily be for you. However, I would kind of argue that plants and insects go in tandem. So I would say if you are going to collect a lot of plants, I would definitely recommend kind of getting used to insects because whether you bring them into your home or whether they're coming into your home, it's something you're going to have to deal with. So I would recommend using this because while they might be insects that you're bringing into your home, they're getting rid of the other insects that I'm dealing with. And I should say the only time I ever have these bugs on me is when I am dispersing them around the home. I'll get one or two of them on my fingers during the process. So perhaps you could have someone else do the dirty work for you if that's going to bother you. But once they're on the plants, you never notice them. You notice these bugs as much as you notice the plant pest in your home. And many of you might know that I have a roommate and my roommate does not like bugs. When she found a few ants in our home, she bought ant traps. When she found one cockroach in our home, she bought cockroach traps. She doesn't care about these because I've been bringing these in for two years now and she knows that when I bring these in, she's not gonna see them, they're not gonna touch her, she's not gonna see them for a second and she knows <laughs> that they're gonna get rid of the bugs that are already on my plants. But I, I highly, highly recommend looking into using green lace wings to treat your plant pests because it is such an easy and incredible way to deal with pests. I, I highly, highly recommend it. As I said, it puts me at ease. The Captain Jacks doesn't put me at ease when I'm lugging 50 plants into the shower and I'm spraying them all down, but the lace wings totally put me at ease. Alrighty, I think that about wraps up my video today on how I deal with plant pests with over 400 plants in my home. I will definitely link all four of the products that I use that I talked about in this video today if case you are looking to get them for your own. I would definitely recommend looking into Summer Rain Oaks' videos on beneficial insects or integrated pest management because she would have a probably a lot more to say than I do about the product. It's just something I've only been doing for two years now, so I do not have 
that kind of knowledge on this topic, but I did want to talk about it with you guys today because it is something that I use and I find works really well. So thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great time!